Hey everybody, how you doing? How would you like to learn the most effective block in all of martial arts against the most common attack in all of martial arts and street attacks with the seven best counters from doing so? That's what I'm going to teach you guys today. I hope you enjoy it. Guys, I hope you tuned in to Hard to Hit yesterday with Icy Mike. Uh, Hard to Hit interviewed me for a good long time. It was very interesting. Um, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed that on Hard to Hurt. Guys, uh, would you like me to work, work with fight commentary breakdowns in the future? Maybe working with Art of War in the future? If you didn't know, I commentated Pancrase 270 to 276 on UFC Fight Pass. If you got it, particularly check out the main events of 270 and 273. They were off the hook. Um, guys, and again, to learn more about combatives, my combatives and street jiu-jitsu DVD is on BJJ Fanatics. So, guys, seven counters off of the most effective block in all of martial arts that's what i'm going to teach you right now while i'm running out of my last sliver of shape now guys i'm not moving the best today i really tore my hamstring very very badly last week uh, but i'm going to teach you the techniques and that's what is most important so these are off the cover block uh, i'm going to teach you how to do the cover block guys so whether you're in a fence, which you should be on the street if someone is uh, confronting you, whether you're just a little staggered talking to someone with your hands down, you might be late picking it up, but these things do happen. Everything is always dependent on variables, particularly, uh, you know, range, uh, pressure of the aggression, distance, timing. So distance, timing, guys, you always have to take that into consideration. So... Whether you're in a fence with your foot back or just standing talking to someone, I'd never ever be square, guys, with your feet. Always have at least a little bit of a stagger base for balance. Or you're in an engaged fight and you guys want to work this in your uh, kickboxing class, MMA class, or whatever. So, let's say I'm in the fence here. I'm talking to someone, hey man, what's going on dude? Hey man, I don't have any problem. And he friggin' swings at you. The most common attack in all of the world is a right hook, right haymaker, right gorilla-like swing, a stick swing, a knife swing, a big overhand, anything of these kind of monkey-style sucker-punching uh, motions. That is the most common thing, literally, in all of martial arts. So, what you're going to want to do is do a cover. You just open your hand, even if, even if I'm fighting this way or I'm fighting this way, whatever, I open my fingers and I literally comb the side of my hair. Now notice, this is a very, very, very tight frame. So even if I got hit with a stick, I have been jacked by two guys with sticks before. Even if you got hit with a baseball bat, or even if it was Mike Tyson, it would freaking send you way over there and make you dizzy as heck, but it probably won't knock you out. Now everyone makes the mistake of this being wide, or they just cover like this, or they cover like this. In light sparring, you'll get away with it. When the, the, the thing's for real, man, and Rampage is bombing on my head like happened, boom, it's going to bang into your face. It's not going to be good. It's not a good day. But if it's here, you can ride it out, which is the other thing. It's going to be hard for you to see my, my, my footwork. I'm really far, but you can roll off uh, punches too, which you should always be doing. Okay, head kick's a little different. But, but punches, you should be rolling off. Head kick, because sometimes it'll hit in the back of the head. So you don't roll it as much. But anyway, we're here. We're covering. If if he's really close and this becomes an uppercut elbow, the cover becomes an uppercut elbow to his chin. A punch is a block. A block is a punch, right? So, or an elbow in this case. So here we're covered and you want to roll. Now you don't want to turn like this and expose your back. Okay? They're going to hop on your back. They're going to hit you in the back of the head. They're going to grapple you. They're going to choke you out. Whatever. But you keep your eye on them like Terminator. Always keep one eye. And this is your cover drill, guys. You can practice cover drill. So now, now that you know how to do the cover, let's do the first counter. Again, things depend on range. If they're really up in your face, here is my number one counter. So I'm going to teach you seven counters. The number one counter is if you're just talking to somebody and he throws. You go here, you wrap that plump pitch, you knee him in the balls. Ding it, ding it, I take out his pills. Okay, in reality, it's gonna be here, knee the nuts, knee the nuts, elbow, 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 street karate, boss rootin' style. Or, better yet, I teach on my combative street jiu-jitsu DVD, you should be very aware, and you head an elbow, spear into it, knee the nuts, knee the nuts, if he goes down, you guillotine him. 
I teach that very in depth on my Combatters of Street Jiu Jitsu DVD on Fanatics. So that's the number one is cover, rotate, throw the knee to the balls, and follow up. All right, number two, guys. Again, closer range. And guys, in kickboxing MMA, you just bring the knee up to the stomach. It's still going to lead you to all that Matt Brown elbows and knees and guillotine choke kind of stuff. All right. So next up is cover, elbow. See, I load my hips. Uh, you can't see, guys. Sorry. But my heel is going to roll and turn, and I'm going to get this elbow back. Now, people teach to do the elbow different ways. That's okay. I like open hand. I like a cover instead of this or this. My preference, my default system, guys. My default system would be cover and elbow back here. So you're going to do your slashing nakmoi right there. Okay. Now, uh, sport, you want to hit with the tip more straight. You might want to get that chin and jawline more as a forearm shiver. Okay. So, bang. Hey, dude, what's going on? Wham! And now you're fighting. And now maybe you rack him into the pike position here. Or you go in a Katanagi head and arm spin to that, to that knee, down to the ground, and all the stuff you see in my Kabatters of Street Jiu-Jitsu DVD. So now, um, boy, I'm like Henry Gracie all of a sudden. Sorry, guys. Um, so now, that's number two. Okay, going in to the elbow. You want to hit with this side, not this side, not this side. You want to hit with this, and then hopefully you cut him and blood goes in his eyes and all that. Then you are in an engaged fight. You keep fighting, or you run out of there on the street. You self-defense, or you blast the dude with a couple quick follow-ups. You know, and go to all this stuff in top positions, depending on variables, multiple opponents. Uh, if you got someone to protect, etc. All right. Number three, good for kickboxing MMA, guys. You're at a little bit slightly longer distance, guys. And now we're engaged or you're in a fence. You cover and your hips are loaded, your heels are loaded to give the two, three. Think of it as uh, Daniel San, Mr. Miyagi in Karate Kid 2 with that drum, right? A lot of stuff I teach guys is kind of more Dutch kickboxing style and you roll it off. Mike Tyson rolls it off, bam! You gotta be able to load your hips and use kinetic cohesion between all your muscles, everything in your body. That's the secrets to power. So, here, 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 and I always shuffle it on my three for MMA, and I do it this way. Boxing might be tighter, like this. I like this for the street and for MMA, because not as many people bob and weave compared to boxing. There's differences about hitting the forehead, but that's another video. So, here, <laughs> something like that. So we're here, maybe we're kickboxing. My hamstring's hurting, guys. Cover, <laughs> so cover, cross, turn it on your heel, my hand's up nice high by my temple, a nice frame, and this one retracts, and there's my hook. All right, next up is cover hook shift hook. What's a shift? When you switch the stance. We were really seeing my, I've been preaching for this a long time, neo striking, MMA neo striking. You see it, they don't always commentate it, but that's what everyone's doing lately. Even Arlovsky was the other night, TJ Dillashaw, Dominic Cruz, pay attention homies. So. You, what am I doing? Shift hook, okay. So cover, and if he's close range, guys, so if he's longer range, you do the two, three, cross hook. If he's closer range, you do three, power three. Three, shift three, three, power three, and I have a separate video on that. It's way back in the day, 2012. You're gonna have to go deep, guys. Go deep, go in my playlist. It's probably in my, always check out my playlist, guys. Look at my old stuff, I cover everything. I have a Neo Striking uh, playlist. It's most likely in there, I hope. So, here, I'm loaded, I throw that hook, but I don't stop. And hook's good, guys. You hit him in the jaw, the temple, the neck, the pressure points, the artery, collapse it. It's all good stuff, guys. Here, here, now I shift, power step out, here. Okay? So, here, here, here. Notice my hook's not like this, guys. Every punch is a block, every block is a punch. Okay? So now we're in here, or we're engaged. I'll do this like fighting stance now. I'm really hurting to spring off my, 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 my leg. But cover here, here. And now my separate video I had earlier, guys, is for when you're backed against the cage, so look it up under that. Uh, maybe Rampage has done this one, cover and one monkey style, guys. So you here, 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 bang, bang. So against the cage, you shouldn't be there. It's, you, the knockout's the guy pressuring in the cage always gets the knockout. 80 90 percent of the time way better than the guy with his back against the cage so you fight your way off 
Okay? You try footwork, but if he's cutting you off, you fight your way off it. But anyway, it's cover, hook, hook, or cover, 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 hook, hook, crazy monkey style. Power, guys. Think Mike Tyson. Think Ernesto Host. Think Peter Arts. Oh, Peter Arts. Nice guy. Met him at Rising. Um, talked quite a bit. Okay. Next up, street style, homies. Cover two tiger palms to the eyes. All right. So now we get into our TMA stuff that could never work. And you're at the most athletic, weighted out, mentally tough, professional fighters on the planet can't handle a poke in the ass. Oh, well, well, maybe that's effective, huh? So you're here talking to your fence, and boom, he surprises you. And guys, this could watch the hand. The hand's what's kill you. Could be walking up on you with a hand behind the knife, asking for money, what time it is, whatever. Okay. Um, so be aware of this. It could always be a knife. It could be a stab to the chest, the neck. It could be a slash across your neck. So we're in here. And especially with the disparity force, man. Your balls and eyes are getting hit, and I'll bite your face off. Whatever, man. If I gotta protect my family, I gotta protect me. If there's a disparity of force, legally, a disparity of force. So, well, here, you cover and just come down with a whip. <laughs> so, look, here, down, or you can go in, but that's a little less uh, efficient. So, I would, I'd probably just rake down. Rip break down and now I'm tiger palm strike I teach that in my DVD tiger palm strike is both a hit with the palm and a rake across the eyes to get their head turned we'll go into detail on my DVD on BJJ fanatics so here boom boom now secret to this is try to use whippy energy kinetic cohesion fluid dynamics okay wave energy whatever you want to call it so we're in here boom 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 Boom, boom, boom. Now we're an engaged fight arm running out of there. He's like this. Ah! Get out of there. Okay, one more time. Here, here, here. Hey, man, I don't have a problem, dude. Hey, man, I'll buy you a beer. I'm sorry. I didn't know she was your girl, man. I'm sorry. Whatever it is. De-escalation tactics. Here, boom, boom. Shh. Engage fight, yo. Okay, so now things are getting a little more serious. Disparity of force. You're an injured old guy like me. Maybe there's multiples. Maybe you saw them playing around in their hoodie like they got a weapon. Or that hand's going in the waistband. Or that hand is behind his leg. The hands are what kill you, pay attention. Okay, so I hope this guy's is helping you out. So, um, next up. So now things are, hey guys, what's going on? I tell the story about a 250 pound UFC veteran. Turns out he was a Coke dealer and had two guys trying to get to my sides with knives. I tell 16 real self-defense stories. Anyway, so we're here. Things are scary. You cover and you work, okay? So here's what it looks like. How did I do that? One-handed. Wave feature, homie. This is a copy of what Seals have loved for a very long time. Okay, this copy of Emerson. I won't say more than that. It's got the wave feature, very important. It hooks on your jeans. Now, I'm not saying kill people for throwing a punch at you in a bar fight, especially if you're drunk and being young and dumb. What I am saying is if you're an older crippled guy and you think it's a knife, if you're over in Southeast Asia or South America or Russia or something and it's a bad juju situation, and his hands were back here. Don't stab an unarmed guy, guys. But real self-defense, real combatives. I'm escalating up the, the force matrix. I might even power step out here with the cover. That's not bad to bleed off energy. You can roll or you can power step out. I didn't cover that earlier, I should've. You're here and you're worried it's this. There's video boom right in the guy's chest, kitchen knife. Kitchen knives are the most attack. Could be a screwdriver, shank, whatever. So here, and my hand goes down to my lethal force option. Here, I draw on the jeans. It opens up, if you didn't see that. I go one, two, three, sticking the points at an upward angle in them, slash, slash, stab. Sorry about the beep, guys. Okay, so we're here, cover, 
And maybe I just back the F off, dude, what the heck? Could be that, could absolutely be that. Or you know what's up and it's here. One, two, maybe you plumb clinch it, you grab a shirt, whatever. Three, leveraging arm, slash, and you're, you're doing your C cut, kind of, not a C cut, but you're doing your uh, cut draw, boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, boom, 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 muscle memories, uh, important. And last but not least, for those that live in the very last few free countries where we're fighting for our freedoms. I'm here, and you know what's going on, okay? You know what's up. You've been having awareness. You assessed the situation. You did a threat assessment. Okay, so we're here. This is similar to my everyday setup. Here, I cover or cover and power step out or cover and roll, depending on the situation. My hand goes down. I'm in a nice deep cover to make sure my arm is out of the way so I don't shoot it. I go here and I draw and back the F off, back the F off if I don't need to shoot. Maybe it was just a punch. Maybe we're around the same age. Maybe we're around the same size. Legal, legal, legal disclaimer. Disparity of force, legal self-defense. Etc. and so forth. Okay. Uh -uh. Maybe it's a real robbery attack and boom, they got weapons, man. You, they pulled it out. Multiple opponents. Whatever. I'm here. Oh, well, back off, guys. I'll give you my money. I'll give you my money. All that kind of stuff. Car keys, no problem, dude. No problem. Whatever you want, man. Scene, put it up. All that kind of stuff. I'm here. Now, look. High pectoral index. Bang. Step back. Bang. Full extension. I usually go headshot Mozambique. So guys, there is the seven best counters from the best, absolutely best. If anyone argues with it, they're pretty stupid. The most bestest ever actual block that works. Tight, tight frame, tight frame. Protect your neck and head, protect your neck and head. Not out here banging in your face. Not out here, boom, banging in your face, moving you, destabilizing your balance, your base, and making everything go bad. So guys, there's the cover block. Please thumbs up, please share, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. I would like some new feedback on this and I'll catch you on the flip side.